What's going on guardians it's tizzle here so in this video i just wanted to go over the god rolls on these weapons they were revealed yesterday in the twitch stream by bungie and we got a sneak peek at some of the perks but in this blog post they reveal all the perks so we're just going to go through all the perks that you can get on every weapon and the rolls that i'm going to be chasing so we'll start with forbearance so i've got an adept one ambitious chain reaction or bait and switch and surplus um, pretty much all my kills have been with Ambitious and Chain. I did try Surplus just to see if... So the thing with Surplus is it doesn't have a reload scaler, and you can see my reload speed is already 84. So yeah, you don't get a ton out of Surplus. So yeah, Ambitious Chain is the way you want to go, in my opinion. And as you can see, it does roll with that. You can also get Unrelenting, but yeah, so Ambitious Chain Reaction, that's the go-to roll. It's been tried and true. Everyone uses it. It's excellent. And then you have a whole bunch of damage perks. Desperate measures is what was called last stand in the um, Twitch stream. But uh, this sounds really strong. But this weapon in particular, you don't really, in my opinion, you don't really want a damage perk on it. It's an ad clear weapon. Um, you're using it more on trash ads. And chain reaction just helps you take out more with your single grenade shot. So demolitionist, I really have my eye on. If you like ambitious is nice because you can fire two back to back, but demo will be really nice, especially in lower end content with uh, because in higher end, sometimes you have to fire two to kill the enemies. But in lower end, this will really be nice in ad clear builds. And then you could also pair it with wellspring. So that's an interesting pairing or just the classic ambitious chain. I don't think that the damage perks are worth it. Not to me. So next we have succession. And again, I just want to show you my succession. Uh, where is it? Right here. So I have I got lucky. I got this to drop super early on. 6,320 kills. TAC mag. So you want a mag increasing perk. And then you want reconstruction. So this will double your capacity over time. So with a mag increasing perk, this makes it eight shots in a high impact sniper. I know it says three, but it's actually four. And then Vorpal weapon is really nice. Because Vorpal is still 20%. Ah, uh, sorry, it's 15% in uh, on specials. It's 20% on primaries, but only 10 on heavies, as we'll talk about later. But yeah, 15% is still pretty good. And then you can also get firing line, which is 20%. So a little better than, uh, than Vorpal if you're in a team setting. So in my opinion, it's still just reconstruction and then Vorpal or firing line for team settings. This perk, again, it sounds really strong. But what I mostly use a special sniper for is high, high health enemies. So recombination could be good for that because that's kind of how heritage is. Uh, you build up a bunch of stacks and then you just kind of one shot everything with heritage. So there could be a play for that. But I just love Vorpal, especially with like anti-barrier sniper, which we haven't had in a while. But yeah, you don't really want something that you need a kill first with, though... This, I believe, can work with like grenade kills. So depending on your build, Desperate Measures could be okay. But again, I'm just going with the tried and true Reconstruction and Vorpal. And then if you're a PvP, ah, PvP player, Moving Target Snapshot is really nice. I used to have one of those. Succession has a fat reticle, so it's really good. Falling Guillotine is crazy. Um, so let me just show you mine real quick. So on Falling Guillotine, I have Jagged Edge, which in my opinion is what you want. It's the most damage. And then I have Relentless, Surrounded, and Whirlwind. So uh, long damage phases, I can do this. And then if I happen to be Surrounded, then I could use Surrounded. But I might have to retire that guillotine. Not that I use it much anymore. Because you can actually get two damage perks. So you can get Vorpal Weapon, which is a 10%, like I just said, on Heavies. And Surrounded. So these would stack. Whirlwind, Blade, Vorpal. Very, very good. Um, I know... <clears throat> oh no i'm thinking oh yeah there it is or frenzy is 15 percent. and frenzy if you watched my video on like my god roll guide i talk about like why frenzy is such an amazing perk increase handling increase reload speed increase damage all just for being in combat which is really easy to do like you're pretty much always in combat so frenzy will be up a lot so that's another five percent so vorpal's 10 percent. frenzy's 15 percent so you could go frenzy with all these as well. So like frenzy bait and switch, that's 15%. And then bait and switch is now 30%. I'm just going to do math on my calculator real quick. 
That's a 49.5% damage increase if you could get Frenzy and Bait and Switch going at once. Whirlwind Blade uh, potentially could be good for like a long damage phase. Um, yeah, Sword Logic, very nice perk. I like Sword Logic, but I don't really like it on a sword because, again, I'm usually using a sword on a high health enemy. I'm not using it so much for ad clear. So Sword Logic, you got to get a kill to get that damage boost going. But it is very strong. But yeah, I don't know if it's perfectly suited to it. Same with Desperate Measures. But stuff like Bait and Switch, where you can proc it on a single target, excellent. So Frenzy Bait and Switch is probably what I'm going for. Surrounded, um, if I'm using Surrounded, if there's a boss where I can use a sword with Surrounded, I'm just going to be using Bequest because Bequest has Enhanced Surrounded and that increases your damage. It's something like 38% up to 45% with Enhanced Surrounded. So Enhanced Surrounded is just straight up better, plus Bequest has more impact. So don't really bother with Surrounded if you have a Bequest. If you don't, then this could be your next best go-to on Crota if you don't have the Lament and you don't have Bequest. Say you didn't own Beyond Light, then uh, maybe go for a Surrounded one. And then Repulsor Destabilizing, that's the classic Void Synergy, also pretty nice. Duelist Trance, um, again, requires a kill to get going, so I'm not crazy about it. Again, I'm not crazy about the ad clear rolls on this. I like the damage. So Frenzy, Bait and Switch, to me, that's goaded. Eager Edge as well, which is nice. But I just got a slammer with Eager Edge, so maybe I'll want it. Not sure. But yeah, Frenzy, Bait and Switch is what I'm definitely going for. The Recluse, uh, some very good rolls. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, the Recluse was kind of almost brought back with Funnel Web. So here's my PvP roll. Range Masterwork, Range Finder, Killing Wind. But these kind of got nerfed, so did Rangefinder. And then Subsistence Adrenaline Junkie, which I really like that role. But now when we go back and look at Recluse, I could probably delete both of those funnel webs because this thing's just going to be straight up better. I don't know the stats on it, but it's probably going to be better than funnel web. But I used to love Recluse, like everybody did. But I loved it in PvP as well. I had over 3,000 kills on it. So if you're going for PvP, Dynamic Sway, tap the trigger. Super nice, super consistent. That's going to be way better than my Killing Wind range finder. So I might actually try to grind out a roll like that because I like 900 RPM SMGs. And then Desperate Measures to me sounds extremely, extremely strong. And I love Subsistence. So something like Subsistence Desperate Measure. Um, Enlightened Action I quite like as well. I'll just show you real quick uh, what Enlightened Action does. So it gives you increased handling and reload speed, which... Obviously, I really like those two things. Just And it stacks up for dealing damage over two seconds. Uh, you're easily going to have enlightened action pretty much like full proct all the time. So it's basically going to max out your handling and reload speed on this, but just for dealing damage. So to me, enlightened action is better than feeding frenzy in higher end content because you can just lay into one enemy and get this to proc, where this you need to be killing enemies. So not ideal for high end content. Uh, the old classic master of arms, I don't know the percentage that it's going to increase the damage, but I know it is being nerfed. They said that in the live stream. So I'm not sure. I'll just have to see how I feel about it. Uh, but Frenzy, super, super good perk. I freaking love Frenzy. Threat detector is always nice. But to me, I'm kind of leaning like enlightened action, desperate measures. Again, I don't exactly know desperate measures, but I think it's like a 20% increase on a kill uh, with a weapon, but then it also stacks with grenade or I think melee kills as well, but for sure grenade kills, if not both. And I have a lot of builds based around, uh, like grenade based builds and ability spam builds. So you could have desperate measures up a lot. And depending on what that damage perk is, I think enlightened action, desperate measures could be really good on in high end content. So very excited to get my hands on some of these roles. Um, target lock got nerfed on SMGs, so not really looking at that for PvP. Like I said, dynamic tap could be really good because you get that initial accuracy from tap and then that extended uh, less recoil direction and everything with dynamic sway. Mountaintop, um, obviously I love autoloading holster. I love frenzy. So autoloading vorpal, again, this is going to be a 15% because it's a special. So that's looking really, really good in like DPS swap rotations. Excellent, in fact. So definitely going to want an auto-loading Vorpal roll. 
Um, even for proccing bait and switch in like a uh, in a GM or something. So say you were running cataclysmic with bait and switch, you just shoot off one of these. Like say you stun it with your primary, shoot off one of these, and then just start going to town with your bait and switch weapon. So a lot of good utility there. Um, Demolitionist, I love, but I'm not totally sure about it on this weapon because again, I don't know how much ad clear I'm doing with the mountaintop. Uh, like it's decent for ad clear, but I'm using it more on single targets usually. So I'm thinking impulse amplifier frenzy could be really nice because both of these increase your reload speed and this increases your projectile speed. So, um, if you wanted to just like spam mountaintop on the boss rather than doing like a swap rotation with auto loading Vorpal impulse amplifier frenzy really jumps out to me and then recombination as well. So much like heritage, uh, this is going to buff it up big time. And let's just look at heritage real quick because I don't recall how high recombination stacks, uh, maximum of 10 stacks. Damn it. it oh wait, maybe here times 10 damage profile. Okay. Well, I don't know how much this stacks, but I know it hits like a truck because I've been using my reconstruction recombination heritage for a long time. So auto loading and, uh, auto loading recombination could be very interesting as well. Like pump out a lot of damage. It just really depends how you're using this weapon. So there's a number of roles here that I really like. Ambitious and overflow could also be very good and very interesting. Again, depending how you're using it. So a lot of good roles here, even lead from gold. Like if you get anything but slick draw, <laughs> you're pretty much laughing. And then over here, I don't really like rampage. Adrenaline junkie could be okay. One for all I would stay away from. Uh, Harmony I've never really liked in PvE. So yeah, Vorpal and Frenzy and Recombination. Uh, so for Hammerhead, this one has some interesting ones. It doesn't have Repulsor Brace that I see, but it does have Destabilizing, so could be decent. I'm staying away from Envious on this thing because uh, Envious is a great perk on like a rocket when you're using it on like one high health target. Machine guns are used opposite to that. They're used to slay on enemies. So rewind rounds is really jumping out at me. And so is actually feeding frenzy rampage killing tally sounds awesome. Cause that's like two 30% buffs rolled into one. So you're dealing like 70% more damage or something like that. If you get times three going for both, you would want extended mag here because as soon as you reload, you lose killing tally and, uh, surrounded. No onslaught is interesting. So I'm actually looking at desperate measures of all these perks like onslaught again, it's nice, but it increases your fire rate. And I don't know how much you really want that on a machine gun. Like it will increase the damage, but you're just going to burn through your meg quicker. Uh, so unless you're really accurate onslaught might not be that good fourth times again, unless you're accurate. So yeah, rewind rounds, desperate measure actually is what I kind of think on this weapon rampage killing tally. I'm definitely going to go for but again, machine guns hit like really hard. I have a commemoration with reconstruction killing tally, which I think is better because killing tally is great when you don't have to reload it and that just passively reloads it. So rewind rounds is nice or feeding frenzy and then desperate measures sounds really strong to me. So I'm kind of looking at that on hammerhead because I've got a demolitionist thresh uh, corrective measure as well from vault of glass. So there's already and then commemoration. So there's already some really good void machine guns. So I want something that's a little more unique or a little different on this guy. Uh, Blast Furnace is looking super, super good. Zen Moment, really nice in PvP. And so is, where is it? I know Headseeker's on here somewhere. Maybe they forgot Headseeker because I swear I, s I heard them talk about it in the live stream yesterday. Oh, sorry. It's in the left column. Interesting. So yeah, head seeker kill clip could be really, really good. Um, Zen moment rapid hit, very consistent rapid hit head seeker. So really it just depends if you want a damage perk or just a consistency perk for PVP. Keep away could also be really nice. I know this thing has insane stats. So 
uh keep away is just going to add to that give you even more range so like keep away rapid hit could just feel like an absolute laser beam from like way downtown uh so yeah lots of really nice pvp rolls which i'm really happy to see because this thing used to go super hard in pvp i had a feeding frenzy rampage roll i think which was really or maybe it was kill clip either way it was really nice in pvp and pve and then shoot to loot awesome in pvp but i want to talk about something here because kinetic tremors is in the same spot so battle scar is just a world drop and i actually have a shoot to loot kinetic tremors i feel bad because i've gotten like three or four of these and uh like it's a goaded roll but shoot to loot um synergizes with kinetic tremors so when you proc it it will hit the whole ground and pick up any ammo around there so this is really nice synergy where on the blast furnace, they're in the same column. So you got kinetic tremors here, shoot to loot here. So I would actually just go for the battle scar if I'm going for a shoot to loot roll personally because of how good kinetic tremors synergizes with shoot to loot. But that's a personal thing. You do you. Shoot to loot is still really nice. Um, and then again, for PVE, I'm looking straight up at desperate measures. Like that perk sounds super good. Kinetic tremors, I already know, is amazing. So Kinetic Tremors, Desperate Measures, to me, is my god roll for Blast Furnace for PvE. And then, like I said, you can go a lot of different ways in PvP. And Firefly's nice. One for All is pretty good in high-end content. And Frenzy, you know I love Frenzy, but I just think this Desperate Measures perk is going to be really, really good. It sounds unreal. So Edge Transit, I'm very excited for because uh, I could see yesterday, and I said in my video yesterday, you can get Cascade Point, and the role they had was Frenzy. So that's 15%, and then Cascade is a mag dumping perk. So it increases your DPS, uh, not your total damage, but it just lets you dump it quicker. And then you can get Frenzy, but then I see today you can get Bait and Switch, which is 30%, or Explosive Light, which could even be better, but it just depends on how the damage scenario is set up. Uh, so I just want to show you something here. So you can get these on the Regnant. So I've actually got three. I've got Envious One for All, if you know, you know, because on Heffend, you can just shoot those little Scions and then you're getting a 35% damage bonus with like a super overloaded magazine. I should actually change this off Spike Grenades now uh, to something that gives me seven in the mag so I can hold more. But yeah, so this is an excellent roll if you can proc one for all. And then auto loading explosive light, also very nice. And then we got destabilizing or pulsar brace. So if you can get the regnant, you can actually craft a lot of what edge transit has to offer. Um, like I said, so you can get envious explosive light, which you can get on regnant, repulsor brace, destabilizing. So you can get a lot of these things. So what I'm looking at personally, I think this thing's going to be a monster is cascade point and bait and switch 30% on demand and you can mag dump uh, and you proc cascade point by getting crits. So you're going to have to shoot with a different weapon anyways to even get cascade point going. So you just shoot with like one weapon again, picture Heffend. So say you shoot your auto loading Vorpal mountaintop and then actually no start with three hand cannon shots three solar hand cannon shots that's going to proc you radiant with flint striker and it's going to proc cascade point you shoot with the mountaintop auto loading vorpal and then you just mag dump cascade point explosive light and yeah then your damage phase is pretty much over but you're going to have radiant and then two damage perks going again explosive light is very close in damage to bait and switch um so i was actually saying explosive light there but either of these is really good. It just really depends on the scenario because you can only hold up to six explosive light shots. So it just depends on how long the damage phase is. Bait and switch is going to be better over the long haul. But if you're just dumping six or seven shots, then explosive light could be the way to go. But either way, cascade point with a damage increasing perk down here, extremely, extremely strong. Again, I love frenzy, but it's only 15%. And a GL I'm mostly using for boss damage. So yeah, some excellent rolls on Edge Transit. Very impressed. Luna's Howl. Um, Eye of the Storm opening shot is very, very nice in PvP. Uh, I love Subsistence and Magnificent Howl. That could actually pair very interestingly together because you now proc Mag Howl by getting 
precision final blows. And then when you reload, it's going to give us a damage boost. They never did show off how strong that damage boost was yesterday. So depending how that works, also enlightened action, I talked about how much I like that. Heal clip, kill clip is a very classic role. Uh, people could really like that. Um, incandescent, not bad, but there's other 140s with incandescent, like the one that you get from the Lightfall campaign or whatever. Desperate measures, again, I'm really looking at. I think that's going to be a very strong perk. So enlightened action, desperate measures is kind of what I'm going for. But depending on how good Meg Howell is, uh, it could also be really good. But I think in higher end PV, PvE, um, Desperate Measures just sounds like it's super, super strong. And then Enlightened Action is just going to give you that handling and reload speed. So yeah, some really good perks there. So that's kind of what I'm going for on Luna's Howl. Midnight Coup, though, is the hand cannon I'm definitely more excited for. Simply because right here, Explosive Payload and Kinetic Tremors. Damage increasing perk and it mitigates damage fall off very, very well. Kinetic Tremors also mitigates damage fall off because as long as you proc it, then it's doing max damage like at a distance. So right there, that's the role I'm going for for PvE. But Firefly, I really like in PvE, but I have that on a uh, Fatebringer. And then, but yeah, like Firefly Frenzy, also a super good role. I'd probably love to have that too. And then I've been talking about how much I'm excited for Desperate Measures that could be really good. Shoot to loot's really good. Shoot to loot kinetic tremors. I already talked about that synergy. You can get that on spare rations from Season of the Deep, but also very, very good. Like <laughs> Enlightened Action, I talked. This thing pretty much has like no bad rolls other than I don't like attrition orbs. And then like moving target for PvP, Zen moment, like Zen moving. That's really nice for a consistency. Plus, this thing has like 90 aim assist. It's a headshot magnet. Or you could get opening shot. So yeah, it's got the old classic Outlaw Rampage, which is what it used to roll with and why people liked it so much. But Explosive Payload, Kinetic Tremors is really jumping out at me. Or Explosive explosive Payload and Desperate Measures. Both going to be insanely strong. Very excited for Midnight Coup to return because I wasn't playing on PC when it was the meta. I was on console and I just wasn't very good with hand cannons on console back in the day. So I'm very excited to get to play with Midnight Coup on PC. Not that I couldn't now. I could pull it from collections, but you know what I mean. Have a reason to run it. Hung Jury, disappointed that this came back. We've got a million of them. Uh, let's just look at my rolls real quick. So I've got the classic No Distractions Box Breathing, three tap PVP, and then Shoot to Loot Kinetic Tremors, and with Subsistence, I use Shoot to Loot Kinetic Tremors though. Again, a goaded roll. Can't go wrong with it. Highly recommend. And they are bringing it with that. So shoot to loot. And maybe I lied. There is no kinetic tremors. So right away, I don't think you can... Oh, they're in the same column. There. My mistake. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, but kinetic tremors is still a great perk. And you can get it with explosive rounds. And I just talked about how excited I am for that role on Midnight Coup. So again, on Hung Jury, same thing. It's going to be absolutely excellent. Desperate Measures Kinetic Tremors, also going to be nasty, nasty. You can't even get that on uh, on Midnight Coup. So I don't know if I'm even going to grind a Hung Jury because I like the rolls I have. I love the gun, but it's like, why are we bringing it back for the fourth time? Uh, no Distractions Box Breathing, I talked about super, super good in PvP. Rewind rounds and lightened action are always pretty good in high-end PvE. Precision instrument with re rewind rounds could give you like a 25% damage bonus for a long, long time. So that's pretty nice. 35% damage bonus here. Desperate measures. We don't know how high that can go, but it sounds like it's going to be very strong. So kinetic tremors, desperate measures could be really good. Rapid hits, always nice. So yeah, this thing has some really, really good rolls. But again, I'm just not that excited for it to return. I've had so many copies over the years, but uh, it does have some really good rolls. And then lastly, we have Elsie's Rifle. So Feeding Frenzy, Zen Moment, Repulsor Brace. So I'm not really sure what to think about this one, but it does have the Repulsor Brace Destabilizing Void Synergy, Frenzy, which I love. Uh, like Feeding Frenzy on a Pulse. Are you really slaying out in high-end PvE with a Pulse? I don't really think so. I'd like to see collective action up here somewhere, but we don't. 
Rewind rounds could be nice, so you have to reload less. Kill clip, not really sold on for PvE. So, like, for PvE, I'm looking at, like, Frenzy and God knows what. I don't even know. Loose change, maybe. Not the best PvE rolls. Not that I really like high-impact pulses to begin with in PvE. So, let's talk about PvP, then. You got Zen Moment Headseeker, an absolute, like, laser beam, super consistent. It's going to feel like no time to explain. That's going to be a really nice roll for PvP. Or you can go the damage route, Zen Moment Kill Clip. Very nice for PvP. And Desperate Measures, like I said, I guess that's kind of what I'd be leaning towards just because it's unique. And this thing is Void. So I've got like a Controverse War, uh, controverse Hold Warlock build that would pair perfectly with Desperate Measures and then maybe Repulsor Brace. Um, just because I'm not really seeing anything up here that I like for PvE other than Repulsor Brace. So yeah. Desperate measures I would want. Don't even really know what I'd want up here. Uh, so yeah, not sure how I feel about this weapon. It's cool that they're bringing it back and it looks good and all that. But uh, yeah, anyways, I hope that was enlightening. I sure rambled for a while, but it was probably only like two minutes a, a weapon. So I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, let me know what roles you're going to be hunting because I'm curious. Maybe I missed something. But again, watch my video on like uh, my god roll guide. Here, I'll just find it here. Because if you're kind of newer to Destiny, you get to uh, you get to get caught up to the powerful cap with that chest that they have at Shax. And then I made this guide, the ultimate god roll guide for Destiny 2, what makes a god roll. Um, basically, I talk about why all these perks that I went over that I'm searching for, why they're so good. And I kind of talk about it in this video too, but this one really breaks it down why they're so good. Demolitionist, Envious, you can see there. So yeah, if you're unfamiliar with like weapon perks and what makes them good, you don't want to just rely on light GG. You want to actually think for yourself and realize why things are good, then check that video out. But if you're still watching, thanks so much for watching to the end. I do appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to grinding these God rolls with you guys soon and take care.